As a show grows an audience, very suddenly all eyes are on them in the animation industry. And of course, being recognized means viewers flock to see what all the hype is about. But more often than not, that only means more shows will take time out of the day to take a jab at the new guy. A lot of the time, the animation industry doesn't shy away from the limelight when it comes to being recognized by other shows. In the case of Bob's Burgers, a few crossovers and jokes have been thrown their way by other shows as they've gained their own fame. But only one of those shows stands out amongst the crowd, a show known for throwing more shade than Peter Griffin's silhouette. Family Guy began airing their first season in 1999 when they had little in the way of competition. The show has gone through periods of highs and lows. After a series of cancellations in the early 2000s, Family Guy has seen over 20 successful seasons by 2023. We did a whole video on it, go check it out. But their competition would soon grow into something new. Moving into 2011, a new show by the name of Bob's Burgers arrived on the scene. Viewers were introduced to the eccentric Belcher family and gave audiences the chance to watch their wholesome family shenanigans. Bob's Burgers climbed the ranks fast, becoming one of the top animated shows. They even won Emmys in 2014 and 2017 for Best Animated Program ahead of Family Guy. It was clear, one show's success was quicker than the others, and Family Guy was on the losing end this time. Fans of both shows know Family Guy loves poking fun at Bob's Burgers. They have a light-hearted rivalry with the Belcher family. And, of course, a few jabs towards the opposition began popping up in Family Guy episodes. This all started with Family Guy Season 11, Episode 10, Space Cadet. In this episode, Chris tries to pass off a picture of Bob Belcher as his art project, but this results in Peter and Lois being called to the principal's office. Peter tells the principal he's very embarrassed, to which the principal responds with, Well, someone should be. Clearly making a mockery of the animation style of Bob's Burgers. And there have been many of these instances where Family Guy has tested how far they can go with Bob's Burgers. There's Season 17's Trump Guy, where the show parodied Donald Trump, where Peter says how Bob's Burgers looks like it was animated in a moving car. Or season 12, episode 20, where Cleveland's new show's ratings were compared to Bob's Burgers. We did about the same as Bob's Burgers. That's your bar? Oh, shame on you. From ratings to the look of their animation style, Family Guy has seemingly made it their job to make sure Bob's Burgers knows their place because a young show provides all new opportunities for gags. So not only is the quality of Bob's Burgers given a harsh review, Family Guy takes their jokes to crossovers and impersonations. Two crossover episodes includes Trans Fat, in which Family Guy and Bob's Burgers cross over at the end of the episode just so Peter can throw insults at Bob. Give us two Emmys worth of amazing. Maybe a funny burger name? No? Girl in the Bunny is? And yet another jab was The Simpsons Guy where Bob Belcher is carried by Peter and Homer in their plane, implying the two shows have to carry Bob's Burgers to their success. What's he doing here? Now we gotta carry him because he can't fly on his own. In part two of The Simpsons Guy, Peter and Homer break the fourth wall to agree on staying a half hour apart with a pile of garbage between them, telling viewers which order the three shows will air in every Sunday on Fox. That order being The Simpsons, Bob's Burgers, and Family Guy. But while Bob's Burgers was taking their fair share of hits, they did what Bob's Burgers tends to do best. They just kinda kept doing their thing. They didn't throw down their gauntlets and fire back, and that's for a few different reasons. The most obvious being that that just isn't the kind of show that Bob's Burgers is. It isn't the kind of show that wants to bring or put anyone down. That's a huge part of the reason that people have been drawn towards the show to begin with. The show's overwhelming positivity. It's become a comfort show for a lot of people. And if the show were to begin taking shots at other shows, well, that could drive some of the show's core fans away. But at the end of the day, that just wasn't the typical type of humor that the show was known for. And the second is because, well, they didn't need to. While Bob's Burgers didn't pick up speed immediately in terms of popularity, by season three, the show was already firing on all cylinders. They were very confident in their show's humor and how they were doing at large. They didn't feel the need to take shots. But despite all the supposed shade that's been thrown by Family Guy towards Bob's Burgers, there's obviously no ill will between the shows. Obviously, if the Bob's Burgers crew were upset, they wouldn't appear on Family Guy at all. In H. John Benjamin, the voice of Bob, would quit appearing on Family Guy altogether, where he voices Carl, a recurring character. And while the show itself has decided to refrain from responding, the fans of both shows 
shows really haven't. Around a year ago on Twitter, the clip of Family Guy saying Bob's Burgers looked like it was animated in a moving car was making its rounds on Twitter, as it does every so often. And the quote tweets were full of people using this as a chance to show off some of the gorgeous animation that Bob's Burgers has put out over the years, and to also say some mean things about Family Guy's animation. This was probably the loudest I've seen the Bob's Burgers community be about striking back at Family Guy, and I think that trying to hit back this hard feels kind of antithetical to what the show is trying to do. Though it can seem mean-spirited at times, it's important to remember that this is sort of Family Guy's way of showing respect. You don't see them talking about some of the other shows that have popped up on Fox, but by simply being around and being as successful as it was, it's impossible for Bob's Burgers to not be talked about by Family Guy, and for it to have happened again and again. It's a huge compliment that it's routinely talked about in the same breath as The Simpsons on the show even if they're only mentioning that all three of these shows were airing back to back to back. This is how Family Guy shows respect to the new kid on the block, the new show that came in and at times surpassed both modern Family Guy and modern Simpsons. Recently, everything between the shows has sort of come full circle, where for the first time since both The Simpsons and Family Guy got their quick jabs in at Bob's Burgers back in The Simpsons Guy, all three shows are together again. But this time, the joke isn't actually on Bob's Burgers. While on the phone with Lois, Peter backs into the Bob's Burgers restaurant and meets with Bob himself and Homer Simpson. During this scene, Bob gets a chance to take some light jabs at Family Guy before the crossover ends. Here, viewers can see how their favorite shows interact and how they've developed a relationship during their time in the same industry. Outside of these small jabs and jokes sent each other's way, the two shows have always kept to lighthearted teasing at worst, as Bob's Burgers has become more and more popular. Kind of like YouTubers, who fake beef with each other to help promote their individual channels and crank up their view counts. This works as a fantastic way for these shows to cross-promote and stay friendly. But anyways, this has been 10K Bill, and thanks for watching. Comment down below what you'd like to hear me talk about next. Follow me on Twitter at 10K Bill to stay up to date on everything I'm working on. And of course, make sure you subscribe for all your entertainment-related content.